Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 13. A sequence of numbers A1, A2, A3 is defined by AN plus 1 equals K brackets AN plus 2 all over AN, where K is a constant. Given that the sequence is a periodic sequence of order 3, and that A1, the first term, equals 2, we need to show that k squared plus k minus 2 equals 0. So we've got that a1 equals 2. Let's put this into our formula to find the next term. So a n plus 1, that's going to become our a2. It's going to equal k lots of a1 plus 2 all over a1. So k lots of 2 plus 2 all over 2, which simplifies to give us 2k. We can now find a3 by putting this 2k into the formula in place of an. So we get k lots of 2k plus 2 all over 2k. We can see that there's k top and bottom of that fraction. They'll cancel out. And the 2 on the bottom will cancel out with the two 2s on the top, leaving us with k plus 1. We can now find a4 by putting k plus 1 into our formula. So we get that a4 is k times k plus 1 plus 2 all over k plus 1, which simplifies to k lots of k plus 3 all over k plus 1. Now we're told that the sequence is a periodic sequence of order 3, so a1 and a4 must be equal to each other, hence k times k plus 3 all over k plus 1 is equal to 2, our first value for a1. Multiplying both sides by k plus 1 and expanding the brackets gives us that k squared plus 3k equals 2k plus 2. Subtracting 2k plus 2 from both sides gives k squared plus k minus 2 equals 0 as required. For part b, we need to explain why for this sequence k cannot equal to 1. So if k was equal to 1, using our formula a n plus 1 would be equal to a n plus 2 all over a n. We know that a1 is equal to 2. So using these facts, we mean that a2 is equal to 2 plus 2 over 2, which is also equal to 2, hence a2 would be equal to a1. So this would mean that all terms would be the same, they'd be equal to 2, hence the order would be 1, not the 3 that we need and that we're told about in the question. For part c, we need to find the value of the sum from r equals 1 to 80 of a r. To start this, let's work out what k is. We know that k squared plus k minus 2 equals 0. Factorising this gives us k minus 1, k plus 2 is equal to 0. We're told that k can't equal 1, hence k must equal minus 2. So we know that a1 is equal to 2. Using this a1 is equal to 2 and our k equals minus 2, we can now find the rest of our values. In part a, we worked out that a2 is equal to 2k. Well, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. In part a, we also worked out that a3 is k plus 1, which if we put the minus 2 in, gives us minus 1. We know that this is a periodic sequence of order 3, so our three answers here must keep repeating. So our sequence goes 2, minus 4, minus 1, 2, minus 4, minus 1, and so on. We've got this order of 3, we're trying to sum up to 80. Well, if we did 27 lots of this 3, we'd get to the 81st term. So the 81st term must be one of our minus 1s. We only want 80 terms. So we're going to have 27 2s, 27 minus 4s, and just 26 minus 1s in our first 80. So our sum is 27 times 2, plus 27 times minus 4, plus 26 times minus 1 which is 54 minus 108 minus 26, which is minus 80. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.